What's up, everybody? My name is Dylan, otherwise known as Poise, and welcome to a new video on Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield. Today, I'm going to be showing you how to get Snoam in Pokemon Sword and Shield. Now, uh, how to get them and how to evolve them. So, um, there's a couple locations in which you can get them, and then you can also get its evolved form called Frost Moth in raid battles. Uh, I think it's like a five star raid. I've seen somebody get a shiny already. Very crazy. Uh, so you can get it in Raid Battle, just, but if you wanted to get it for your decks, how, this is going to be how to, I'm going to show you a couple locations. We're going to go to the uh, it's Habitat, and you can look up here and it'll show indications. So you can go in between Route 8, right here you can see um, it has a location here between Route 8 and, uh, what is this? It's the city, I can't think of it off the top of my head. And then you got, uh, what the heck, this is right before Winden. Why doesn't that show the name of the routes, but... Uh, Here's also a location. So what we're going to do is I'm going to fly right here and go to this one. Um, definitely you can figure out. So later in the game, it also can be in the wild area in the Lake of Rage. All right, Lake of Outrage. So that's another spot you could actually get it. Um, just based on weather at that time. But these ones would be a general area you would go. I believe it's a, grouse, a grass encounter. I'm not 100% certain. But we're going to go ahead. I'll uh, cut to when I actually encounter it and let you know how I got it. So be right back. Okay, so we're back here. I'm on Route 8, like I told you, and uh, you can actually see it in the actual grass here. Right here is the doesn't move very fast, so you can actually get it. Um, so that's probably the best way. It's Route 8. It's an encounter here. You got Snow. Uh, the other one's a little bit higher, like I said, when you're going toward before you get to Winden. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead. I'm gonna capture this, and then we are gonna move on. It's level 40. So that's like a standard level here in this route. I think you might be able to get a little bit higher. I could have, I don't know why I just did that. I should have just tossed a quick ball at it, but it's all right. We're going to try and capture it. Hopefully you can capture it. I don't think this has like the best competitive moveset. I'm not, I haven't looked. I know Frostmoth is really cool Pokemon. I love the look of it. But there's a couple of things that I want to like, I, hopefully I have them. If not, um, so methods to evolve it is that you have to have its max happiness to 220. And it has to evolve at nighttime. So that is the main uh, key with uh, Snom here. Like I said, um, max happiness. You can play with it in Pokemon Camp. Uh, you could give it a Soothe Bell. There is also a way where you can go to your berries and they give you, when you do a bunch of raid battles, uh, they give you uh, these berries that will uh, increase your friendship. And then you only have to do about like 20 of them, but it can also lower certain stats. But it doesn't look like I have the berries um, necessarily. I don't think I do. Um, nope, it, I do not have... Oh, right here, right here. So it says right here, a berry consumed by this Pokemon using it. A Pokemon makes it more friendly, but lowers its special defense. This one says a berry that consumed by Pokemon can lower its Pokemon's... Uh, make it more friendly, but lowers its defense. So these berries do come in... Can't come in handy, but like I said, it will lower a stat of your Pokemon. If you only give 20 of them, it can evolve. You can play with it in Pokemon Camp, get its happiness up. And uh, I'll let you know when... Well, I'll cut to when we actually get its happiness all the way up. I'm going to give it a couple berries. Um, I don't think, however, that it's going to only like three. I, I used 20 before and I got it. And that's how I or how I got um, not just a snow, but I got other things as well as uh, Savali is how I got one. So uh, I'll cut back to when we actually evolve this thing and hope you guys, you know. All right, here we are, guys. Finally got Snorm to or Snorm, 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 whatever you want to call it. Finally got him to evolve. Um, you can actually what I did was I gave a couple berries I gave it like three berries and then I made it a curry Curry and played it like played with it in the camp. It's actually really fast. I mean if you literally just give it a curry I think it, it's faster in that opinion. So um, it has to like I said max happiness of 220 at nighttime to get uh, Frostmoth here very beautiful Pokemon. I cannot wait to uh, get it in the future for shiny hunting But hopefully this video did help you guys out make sure to thumbs up the like button subscribe if you are new and I hope uh, hope everything goes well. And let me know if you guys are still enjoying the game. Cheap boy, boys, and I'm out. Peace.